Sorry, I was clicking. Oops. Apologies. I was clicking, deleting the old <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just looking for for the for the pillow dust. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, I'm laughing the whole time. Oh my god, I was for sure thought I had one more minute. Um, yeah, okay, here let's go. Oh, 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 today you see, yeah, okay. Whew. I already got nice on the workout. Okay, I'm all like so hands uh, Amber's having a laugh at us. <laughs> hey, Amber. <laughs> Hi Joseph. Oh, hi, yes. Oh, hi, Karen. High five. Or I don't know, fist bump. I don't know what to do these days. Or elbow. A gray shirt as well. So hello, everybody. Apologies for the little tech thing there. We love yes. content we every enjoy week. enjoy to be silly. Silly is good. Yes. So I, we load content to the side here that we show you guys every week. And it was so much that had added up. I was cleaning it out and I didn't realize I pressed one. And anyway, that's what happened. So at, at okay. least we all, we didn't, uh, you know, we were presentable underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm changing in front of the my laptop. Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Fabiola. Hello, Joseph. Hello. Ian. New Jersey. Happy yes. last Tuesday of September. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is. We're the 28th. I mean, it's a, it's. It's, and I mean, for us here in Canada, it's Thanksgiving in two weeks. Oh, is it? Yes. So my today's project is perfect for you. Perfect. Well, I'm kind of going fall as well. Let me, so I'm going first today. Hello. Let hello, me just Patty. turn on my camera. Hello, Cynthia, hi. So look, I've oh, got my so new, fancy Montreal confections. I've got my new cutting oh, board. That's awesome. So if you guys are interested, I just released actually a YouTube video. I had a, a sponsored uh, video from Etsy. So I got to shop. I, they gave me a $500 gift card and I bought all kinds of stuff. And this is one of the things that I got. So obviously I'm using it for my videos, but you could customize housewarming gift, whatever. I'm, I, I, I'm asking for a, like, this is like, I want to talk. I'm so shocked it's not from AliExpress. I'm almost like disappointed. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different thing. Everybody, like, you know, everybody, I find the pandemic changed with regards to supporting small businesses. And this is like the guys actually taking wood and like etching it and it's a completely different thing. Etsy. It's amazing. You need to like, do you show the whole thing in your, in your video? I do. I do show it's it all. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. So anyway, so here it is. And the point of this is see the circle is so I can put my cookie. So it's all handcrafted, right? Yes, it is. Beautiful. So Hello. today, um, this is a chocolate cookie, as you can see, it looks like a, just black. And so this is, I played around with Han's recipe, her um, sour cream soft cookie recipe. And I like just took out some of the flour a little bit and put cocoa and awesome. chocolate. I actually cookies. used it yesterday. I used it yesterday to uh, make some giant Santa cookies. Oh, you did? Yes. So, so this is more like, I would say like, it's kind of brownie esque. It has, I also replaced some of the, the sugars for brown sugar. So it's a little chewy, oh, which nice. I don't hate. Well, that's nice. Yeah. You like it? It is so dark. Your berry cocoa is amazing. It, it is very, very dark. So I'm just going to, today we're doing buttercream Tuesdays. I, I've been doing buttercream a lot. So I'm just going to ice the top of this cookie and then we're just going to do a little um, fall decor on there. So I'm just putting it about like that. And you don't have to go, you know, it's not super, doesn't have to be super perfect. So the decorations, I actually made them in advance with molds that I got from AliExpress. I posted the um, the um, opening on my story on Instagram. So these were like 
325 Canadian, I want to say. So American, very, very affordable. And I'm just going to... Oh, these are nice. Guys. I pre-recorded the, the making of them. So last week I showed you guys, you're just squishing in white fondant. And then here are the yellow ones that I'm making. So I just airbrush. I like to airbrush white, the fondant when it's like, I make them white and airbrush them. And you can mm -hmm. see here, you can get very precise with your airbrush. I'm just closer to the flower. And so then I can, you know, and then it's just a marker for the middle and that's it. And you have your flowers super fast and you can make these in advance. I'm working on a paper towel because of the airbrush. And then I made a purple version. It's a, just a slightly different one. And again, I make them white and I'm just airbrushing. And I do like the airbrush for these decorations because I find it doesn't give such a flat color, right? Because of the all the texture. Sometimes it's lighter, sometimes it's darker in areas. And then I'm using that fondant tool to kind of make a, a little bit of a hole in the fondant so that I can pipe a yellow middle. Because mm -hmm. the flower was purple, if I would have painted that yellow, it wouldn't have showed. So I had to add icing on top of the purple. And the last, last one, this, I just want to show you guys, this flower is tiny and you can get so close and just do a little, little jet and you can color the middle of these little flowers. It, it's so much faster than painting. You can see here, I'm just running through them and you can get very precise with your, um, with your uh, airbrush. Here they are. So I have a picture to show you them a little bit closer here. So you can see, look at the white ones. The yellow is so like, I don't think I could have done a better job with my paintbrush. So and then the purple, and the purple ones, you see like I added a little sanding sugar and you I have- I love the purple ones. I think that, I mean, they are all gorgeous. I love the sunflowers, but the purple ones, it's a shape I was looking forward to. I'm glad you did it. Yeah, so it's just, you know, uh, how big are they? They look, I mean, they are not too big. They, what is it like maybe inch and a half? Not even that. No, no. They're, they're an inch. Like this one yeah, is, okay. it's, it's really small. So it's small, these, it's even smaller. Okay. I really like these. That's nice for the cookies. Absolutely. Excellent. So again, fun. You can make them in advance. You let them dry. You can put them away and then, you know, so here I just added, I wanted it to look kind of um, home, home, home esque, you know, like just homemade and not super fancy. And here I have, I added a little bit of the cocoa to the buttercream, and I'm mm -hmm. just adding just a, a crescent here on the side. And I'm not overthinking it. I'll be very honest today. I've been uh, this week very busy with the holidays planning videos, and then the Etsy video and all this. So I didn't have a whole lot of time. So that's the reality of everybody's life. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you don't have a lot of time. And sometimes you just have to make it happen, even though you don't have a lot of time. So now I'm just yeah, walking. This is what through. I would say. You make everyone else. It took you hours. You know, you make them think it took you hours. No exactly. Exactly. So now I'm just adding these little flowers on the side. Oh, my goodness. Is this going to be a face? No, no, I don't know. Because look, look like this, this could be hair and it's like right. a hairband. And then you put the, the eyes and <laughs> you made a face. That's and what so I I'm like. just finishing off the end by adding some leaves and I'm just filling in, you see? And you can add some, some non pare sprinkles. I like the white sprinkles to that, but you can see here just quickly. Oh, so pretty. Oh yeah, and I wanted to get, they're here. I bought them. Let's see. Can I, you see the little, the little pumpkin? Oh, pumpkins. Can yeah, I, they don't have those here. Is that going to cut? cut? Oh, I was going to suggest if you could cut it. So yeah, you can add. You know, a little extra something. If you want, you can write. That's pretty pretty. So you can add as much. And if you want, you can do the sandwich version where you're stacking them. Here, I'm going to try to do it this way. Now hey, I'm going to put the... Hey, Rhonda. 
Everybody's loving it. So it's all about the flowers that you make in advance when you're not super stressed out. Because, I mean, for, for those of you that are in the States, you still have plenty of time to prep, right? It's far from, from, uh, and even well, it's, well, yes, I guess, yes. It's almost, it's two months. It's so you even have months. time to order on AliExpress. Because sometimes you have the delay. So yeah, there. It's already, it's already October. It is. It's so fast. So now I'm just squishing these guys but in. Do you see what I mean? That this could be a face, a girl face? I really, like, my favorite ones though are these little white ones. The little I white ones? Say they're super cute. But do you see what I mean? If you put the, if you, if, if, if you bite the eyes and the mouth, it's a girl face with like lots of flowers in the hair. It could be like um, a peace and love thing. <laughs> yes. You don't see it? Well, I see it. I see it. Can you do it? Can I do it? <laughs> I see it. I see it. Julia sees it as well. Oh, awesome. Awesome, Katie. Okay. And that's it. You see? It, all guys ask, asking if it's white buttercream. Yeah, it's just vanilla. And I mean, this is about being. Uh, you know, simple family style stuff you can everybody, do. Everybody wants you to do the face. Okay. So this, what I like too, is let's say I've mentioned this before. And I mean, it's, if you make all your decorations, you know, if you are maybe short on time, you could actually have everybody make their own dessert. You know, like you think, oh, you want to <laughs> let's invite people over. And uh, yeah, here, you're going to make your own. Dessert. Well, you'd be surprised. They would love it, I think. I think they would love it because not everybody owns everything to do it. And then you pull out all the trays yeah. and you guys hear like an activity. And then you could be a judge of who did it better, who did it, you know, you did it better, well, you did it, whatever. Usually <laughs> they're, licking, they're licking and they're already eating it. Okay. So you're saying, yes, this are the eyes. That's like you did before everything. Oh, so pretty. Everything but the leaves on the bottom and just add the face. You, she can have whatever. Do you have something like that? So what is this? Cheeks? <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 no. I mean, the, the brown is the hair. Like, you, you bring it out, it's okay. like a bob, you know? Okay, it's the brown is hair. The face, face is white. It's fine. And okay. then you just do, you just do, just do what you did, did. And um, I'll tell you what, where to stop. Because you guys have like a different view than me. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like when you're working on it, I'm not seeing the face as much as you seem to be seeing the face. Yes, I so I'm going to do it. Things these days, you know. All about so making it one, it's Tuesday. I mean, by, by, by the time we get to the Friday, I will be seeing, you know, rainbows or I don't know. I'm at your service. So okay, what? excellent. So now do the white. All right. So now <laughs> I'm putting so the white on. Did. Hold on. No, put the uh, Julia is saying no. Put the put her face in the center area with all the flowers and leaves where they are. Brown icing for the hair with flowers in the hair. White icing for face. So this is so the. We're just going to go with it. Okay, so now you can add your beautiful flowers that you made. Okay, so there. Now I'm going to put it right side up for you guys. Okay. So now, so this is the hair and this is the okay. face. What is the face? I'm sorry. Like what? Do I put a face? Is anything a yes, face? Yes, yes, you put the face. Do you have a? Do 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 you have? Well, can you put the your brown icing on a little spatula and just like you said, no, no, uh, like nothing fancy. She doesn't have to have like pupils and reflection or whatever. Just like no, I mean. Oh, well, you could put the yeah, look, You're already okay. Okay. Then, yeah, those are flowers. Be nice. No <laughs> We'll make it work. Like beads for eyes. Yes, she knows what she's doing. A nose. Here, that's a jelly bean. That's a jelly bean. This is this is a different thing. Okay, we I have know. everything going for it for it. I have a suggestion for a cookie. Okay, go ahead, Joseph. <laughs> She's a beautiful girl, and now she has eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. Well, now I'm thinking about Chewy, you know? Chewbacca, hold on. Is it Chewbacca, right? No, so, this is like with flowers. This is, <laughs> okay. this is a bit of humor. It's fine. it's fine with me, but I'm like, okay. That was a bit of humor. It's a lovely flower girl with uh, like, uh, I don't know. All right. So here, let me just. This is Bella from Twilight. <laughs> it could be. Okay. So there. That's so cute. <laughs> I Karen says that she would eat all the jelly beans before they make it onto a cookie. Well, that's my case as well, Karen. I remember I bought these uh, fancy, um, like metallic jelly beans. I I mean I bought them several times, and I had such great aspirations to use them, and never ever. You know, I don't find that it looks bad without a mouth, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, oh. If you have a, if you have a large a hard sprinkle, it would work. I'm looking for, you know what I want? Let me look in my stockpile. <laughs> Are you going to use the Dracula for something? The Dracula lips? Well, I bought them. I because if if you saw my pumpkin last year, you know the one with um that's like oh the pumpkin i like that pumpkin quite a bit. the orange one like with like scary orange pumpkin yes i have a few with like candy mouths i'm looking for i had hearts you know to to do the mouth i think a heart would be cute she looks like the girl from the bib she looks like a girl from where bib okay i'm looking up what's bib girl from bib it's bib uh bib uh Oh, is it Big Bang Theory? I mean, I can't really find. I mean, the other is another jelly bean. That's not horrible. No, that's... And then you get to eat two jelly beans. But anyway, so the point you know, it is... reminds me of dolls for Christmas. You know those dolls with like... Like, um, what are they? Um, Keller, Carol, Carolers, or whatever you call it, the people. Oh, who yes. So that's, that's it, I guess. So the point yeah. of this is just for you guys to be able to make your flowers quickly with your airbrush. You can just, like you see, they're not, they don't look, um, as much, where's my picture? No, that's not what I want to show this. They don't look. Um, I want to say they look like you bought them. Like they don't look, you know, like uh, cutting corners there. This is maybe more of a cutting corner project, but it's the reality. Sometimes things are simpler some years and some lives. <laughs> right, Anne? Of course. My favorite Canadian. <clears throat> So I had them frozen. I yes, had fonda, yes, flowers are fondant. She made them out of fondant. I assume if you wanted to, you could make them from modeling chocolate, but modeling chocolate doesn't harden as, as fondant does, right? And it's more yeah. from like melting or the effect being affected by the heat. But in this particular stuff. case, it's all flat. So it doesn't matter if they're not hard. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, that's true. Is, that is true. This is not a circumstance where they need to be kind of up. <laughs> So we actually did not coordinate outfits today, but I, I realized we are both wearing gray. Yes. So the jelly beans, April, they're, um, they're pearls. So really not as pleasant to eat than the jelly beans. They're actually quite kind of hard. I don't really love them for, um, this, especially this. Well, you could use mini M&Ms if you, if you like, uh, really like, if you have those, the mini M&Ms is maybe, they may be slightly larger than the eyes you use, but. And also if you haven't heard of, it's called Chris Pearl. Oh yeah. Those are, yes, I had those, those are, but I've been eating those. Yes. And those are like essentially like a rice crispy. Yeah. Inside. Like it's like a, yeah, it's like a, type of a round wafer kind of a thing. And it's like 
coated with like chocolate, different colors. Howdy, Jennifer. Oh, so three of us wearing gray. I don't know what is it. It's two Karen days. Karen was as well. There was, there was another person too that had. But anyway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slowly get ready for my project. So I, I think I had wanted here, while you're digging for yours here, let me try one more that I had on my brain that I wanted to do. So okay. here is the the cookie and I'm just going to, you guys saw me do the pumpkins a few weeks ago. So I'm just going back and forth here, filling the area and I'm just filling here, making a pumpkin. You see, like that. And then I'm gonna add the stem for the pumpkin here. Oh, that's pretty. And then you can do a little a little cluster of flowers at the bottom. So maybe it would work better with a smaller piping tip. Oh no, I think it's great. Plus it's really fast. You're not spending, you know, like hours, especially now during the busy season. So there you have a little fall kind of um, pumpkin with a few little flowers on the side. That's a different option. So she, June is wearing gray also. Leanne is wearing gray. Oh, I've got gray, gray everywhere. Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you are going to, you know, bounce back in a few days. Yes, yes, take Which care of the best remedy I, I find. All right. You ready to go? I'll be, you know, I'm, I'm as ready as I will be. All right, so today I am going to work on something again. I haven't done this ever. And um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. You're going to guess what I'm doing. Ooh. Yeah. All right, guys. Put it's your it's going to be on. really easy to find out if I could find my marker. Like I have the marker here. Where is my marker? Oh, I see. All right. So I'm going to be using. This is a really nice cutter. I love anything with scalloped edge, as you know. Even on gingerbread houses, it just adds like a nice detail and makes it a bit more, uh, I would say, feminine. Um, and I just like that a lot. Well, the other oh. thing too, I find that if your cookies warp a bit in the oven and your rounds are not super round, I find a scallop is more forgiving yes. to show yes. that, that it's a little bit off its perfect round. So these cutters, they have a scalloped edge, but you can see this is a, um, a fine scalloped edge and this is a like wider scalloped mm -hmm. edge. This cutter is also listed, uh, I believe, in my Global Belly Shop. Um, it's not from this set, definitely not. But this is a really nice set to have as well. Um, so I'm going to use it to trace. A, Add your guide. As my guide, I'm using a yellow marker. You'll be able to see it, I think, because this is a um, white, like a vanilla cookie. And this is um, super red. <laughs> Super red mixed with a little bit of brown just to give it a dark tone. Okay. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to outline. Olga, Olga had her first order hand. Yes, volleyball cookies. Exciting you stuff. Congratulations. So I, I love the picture. Congratulations, Olga. Congrats. So now I'm just gonna spread a thin layer. I don't want to overload this. This design I find sometimes it can be rather bulky when it comes to the amount of oil icing used. And I'm 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 I'll be honest, I'm not a huge, huge fan of that. You mm -hmm. can always take off the decorative elements if there is like a lot of icing. All right. 
So now while this is wet, I'm going to, oh, and of course my icing just started to separate. It's cool. Always. Love that. Well, what am I making? Any guesses? I mean, this, you should know by now, I think. It's Giant good. flour. <laughs> Giant flour. Um, all right. So this is lighter, um, lighter red. Now I'm going to take um, dark red. I'm using a smaller piping tip, it's just easier to control. Nothing, nobody, no guesses. Anybody know what she's making? I'm gonna shape this little dot I made into um, like a star shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you, you know, aim for like five point star, if you can. Fabiola says cherry pie. It's a fruit pie, it's a fruit pie. It's um, um, more for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. But I agree, this could definitely be cherry. These could be definitely cherries. You've got Diana cherry. Uh, no, Diana's saying a ladybug of pizza. Adriana cherry pie. Carol cherry pie. Well, okay. So it's we. I suppose I can then uh, keyword. Oh, Rachel is says cranberry pie. Cranberry pie, yes. Well, it could be cherry pie as well. Like it's it's very. I mean, I'll tell you, I never heard of cranberry pie. I. I mean, cranberries are a big part of Thanksgiving, but I've never heard of a pie of... of um, I love cranberries. I love cranberry cookies with fresh cranberries. I have a recipe on the blog. But this is the first step. So um, after this step, you need to let this section crust, which is going to take um, not a whole lot, maybe 30 minutes or so. Lucky for you, I prepared one ahead of time. Mm. It's here, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm just wiping my, this is a really handy tool to have. Marlin has been using it as well. They come in different uh, sizes. I have just by a chance, I have three here. So you can use these also to spread icing. And many people use these to decorate with buttercream. Have you tried, any one of you guys tried using these with buttercream, create buttercream flowers on a cake? They sure make it look like it's nothing, but it's not, you know, you you have to know like what, what you're doing. What you're, yeah. If you're in Canada and you have a Dollarama near, you actually saw them at the Dollarama. Oh, yes. Okay. So after the after it's crusted, all you are going to do, you're going to add a few of few of those cherries or, or whatever you want to call it, cranberries on the top. It's the same idea using the same icing. You just want to have a few of those elevated. Okay, and now this is the product that I have not used. This is the first time I'm using it. I uh, I got these silicone piping bags. Mm. Anyone used these before? They're a little flexible, and they I got three or four sizes. Mm. So I'll, I'll see how these work. And I got the you... question I want to know is how fun they are to wash. Oh, how fun are they to wash? Like, what do you, you know, mean? like if they get clean easily. Oh, Brianna uses them. What do you think, Brianna? I think they will be easy to wash because the inside, like uh, I'll just, the outside has a bit of a texture to it, like not a rough texture, but inside is very smooth. So I would, I mean, I'll let you know, I don't know. I turn them inside out and I put them in a dish. Oh, you, oh, you use dishwasher, nice. Okay, so today I'm using, this is actually, um, I think this is a, the ribbon tip that you like to use. A belt, yeah. It's a number 44 and it's very nice and very thin and a really good size for a pie. So what I'm going to do, these should be also crusted, the top ones. I'm going to start, look, it's, it's a bit big, <laughs> so I'm going to like tie it so I can pipe. I'm going to start in the middle here. 
And I'm using, um, this is like a medium stiff consistency. It doesn't have to be super stiff. It's fine if it's a little um, more fluid, but not like running because then your lines are going to... Um, mm -hmm. I really like the look of when the icing comes out of that tip. <laughs> <laughs> you like the look of that? Well, isn't it cool? It's like... Yes. Like a big fettuccine. Oh, see, I, it's a little wonky there. It's okay. This is a good project for those of you that haven't taken the plunge. This is a yeah. good beginner project. Yes, this is this. I feel almost bad because this comes together so quickly, and I feel like uh, it's not enough. Like it's not enough. But um, so now I'm going to now. This is an optional, I suppose, because we're going to put icing on the top. But to avoid any kind of um, mishaps, I'm just going to remove this excess. Just makes it tidier. Yeah. And if you don't want to use a uh, thick icing, but that's what I'm going to be using. Most of the pie cookies that I've seen, they use um, <clears throat> um, um, petal tip, right? Petal tip is used. But I really wanted to maintain the scallop edge look. So I tried to use the petal tip, but it kind of like it hides the scallop edge, okay? Mm -hmm. So Marlene suggested... And uh, I've seen it, but I didn't like connect the dots. So that I will, I'm gonna use a round tip instead and just pipe dots around. And I'll smooth the top with, uh, with a brush if there is like a point or something like that. And that, that way I will maintain the, I will maintain the- well, Sarah, you want, I'm guessing you're looking for a re recipe. Well, Han has her recipes on her blog. Let me put it up. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, this is like partially crusted, so I'm going to do. Um, There's her block for her recipe. And guys, exciting news. I just released, um, I'm a little behind, I have to say, uh, about two weeks behind. I just released uh, my templates for the Jekyll lanterns that I did a couple of weeks ago, you know, the scary ones. Oh, it's actually sinking in because it's not completely crusted. It's okay. And it's in my coffee shop. And what about your class? You're giving a class. I, I also have a class indeed. Thank you for reminding me. On October 23rd, I'm giving it. It's a live online class that I would love it if you guys can join, join me. It's a beginner class where we'll talk about different consistencies. And I'm also going to demonstrate how to make black royal icing. And we will actually decorate four different Halloween designs. And it's right, um, right seven days before Halloween. So you can actually use those cookies if you are planning on having a party or so. Just fun to put in your- And then you can drag that you made them, I'm sorry. So just fun to put in your kids' lunchbox, you know? Like, it's a nice surprise for them. If they're not right. using anything. So this is not crust, like this is not at uh, the same stage, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. We'll, I mean, we'll see what's gonna happen. So have you had any issues with bleeding in Spain? Has the humidity like changed from when you were in the States or? Um, um, well, I do have a kind of a, uh, we have a split, we have split units here. Uh, and and uh, one of the functions is the dehumidifier. So it's been running pretty much nonstop. However, remember last, um, when I did the Jekyll lanterns, remember I used the, um, I use the clarinet, the uh, clarinet, cl cl <laughs> I use the clarinet. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I want to see that. I use claret um, color. Yes, you need to cook the cookies before the class. Yes, and all the information about the class, Gail, is uh, on Global Belly. And you can get there directly through my Instagram account. In my bio, there is a link. And when you click on the link, um, you just need to click on shop cookie decorating kits 
And there is also, I believe, a link to the class itself. Um, so the colorette, remember it was like, um, there was a discoloration butter bleach. I think it's that particular color. You said that you had issues with the bleeding with that color. So the, any, or any other colors are fine, but that color caused some butter bleed, which was fine. But um, I, I mean, I'm gonna knock on wood. So far, so good. I'm eating some of my pumpkins. Are you eating your pumpkins? I just I really have a question for you guys. I got like a mean comment. Um, I don't need you to go risk me or, or ask me or anything on, on Facebook uh, in terms of candy corn. What would you say candy corn tastes like? Like I did a research. I actually had to do a research because to me it's like just sugar. But... Um, it tastes apparently there is warm vanilla and um, like a, like a hints of um, bar, uh, not parmesan um, 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 mozzarella, not mozzarella uh, marzipan. Yeah. Oh, honey. Okay. Honey. Chewy honey. Oh, honey. Oh, I had honey because I didn't even think of that. Chewy honey. Yeah. Marshmallow. And it also said marshmallows. And vanilla, um, a marshmallow, vanilla, and um, like hints of like marzipan. So it's like almondy. Candy corn is so full. <laughs> okay. Looks so good. All right. So now I'm going to um, go back here and to make it a bit more realistic. I mean, none of the pies that you're going to bake at home will have a perfectly clean. Um, lattice pattern right so what i'm gonna do i'm going to pipe some of those berries holiday pies to eat i am very old-fashioned and what old-fashioned old pie i do like <laughs> apple pie and then if somebody serves me a pecan pie oh, that's good. oh yes i have to agree there the pecan pie a nice pecan pie I um also I like the apple pie and I like it with a little twist with blueberries in it. Oh, that's oh blueberry. Well, I guess blueberry is not considered a holiday pie, but um, I also love and this is not this was at this um, friend's Thanksgiving years ago. They made a it was a frozen peanut a peanut butter pie. It was so good. Awesome. It was so good. What about you guys? What are your favorite pies? Are you a pie making person or do you, do you buy pies? You know what I like? I like strudel. That's my like, and coconut cream pie. I'm right there with you having yes. Dutch mm -hmm. apple, blueberry That's apple. Oh, the blueberry apple is very nice. So is it the, so, but, so for Thanksgiving, any pie goes, correct then? As long as it's a, a pie? Lemon meringue pie. Oh, I also love lemon pie. meringue. Oh. I've never had sweet potato pie. I have to say I'm a big sweet potato fan. I would totally, maybe I'll put that on my to-do list. Have you, have you tried sweet potato flan? That's very good. I'm not so flanny. <laughs> all right good to know chocolate rum macadamia nut mm. wow that's gonna be like a million dollar uh, pie no macadamia that, that's uh, quite expensive Michelle no? makes apple pumpkin coconut and lemon meringue Ooh, all in once like not one no, like, oh. he has a pie session and just goes pie crazy and makes lots of pies. Key lime oh, pie. You, you, people, pie. you folks who are really like into pie making, I have a question. Do you use um, pie? Do you use a pie dish, special pie dish, or do you just use the the foil? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. No, oh, well, you know what I mean, like a fancy fancy dish. For the pie like what's better glass 
Yeah, we have glass, I think. Well, I'm, I'm looking at your can. For those of you that want maybe a, an option for a smaller cookie to put with that, you can cut the round in half or in quarters and make pie slices to have yes, bite absolutely. Pies. Absolutely. These are quite, I mean, this, this is, you know. So Carol cooks in ceramic. Ceramic. You find that's better? Oh, glass. 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 Glass dish. Ceramic. Never, Never foil. foil. Free form. Oh, yeah, I love gullet. I guess that's a, the, the free form. It's a gullet. I love gullet. She puts crisp crust on pizza. Use the aluminum. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to just see how thick this is. Hopefully, it's not too thick. Oh yes, I gotta agree there. Banana cream pie. Mm, banana cream pie. Oh, there are so many. I think I, I think two to pick two favorite is not even fair. Right? When I was a kid, my grandma would make her pies in a steel plate, which is what you'd kind of see in camping gear. It's a really shallow metal plate and I mean, they were probably a hundred years old, and she would like, like it for for granite visual. Wear. What's a granite ware? I don't know what that is. A oh, granite ware? What's that? I don't know. I'd have to Google What's that. What's a granite ware? I don't know what that is. Like made out of granite? No. You can. Can you make? Uh, I don't know. Well, you look it up. Look it up. Anyway, the old kind of uh, style of pie, the pies, like the filling didn't, wasn't as much as we see now. They would do a, only a little bit of filling with regards to the ratio of the crust. Oh, really? Because now you have like deep dish mm -hmm. and you get like a lot of filling. You know oh, what I would like? That's it. That's what my grandma, that's what she's explaining. Uh, it's, she's answering. It's my, that's it. So it was a, a, a tin kind of plate coated like this granite ware. I didn't even know what it was and very shallow. And she would make her pies in that. in these granite ware plates. So that's, that's what, that's what it is. That's what you, you, your grandma used granite, granite ware. And Avis is saying same thing. Hmm. Interesting. And it was a very shallow, yeah, very shallow, but they were very good. I remember my grandma, she was from Sud, they were in Sudbury and they would pick the blueberries. I mean, tiny little wild blueberries and make blueberry pies with, uh, maybe that's why they use the shallow pans because the blueberries took so long to pick. To pick. <laughs> Looks awesome, Han. So many options. You can make the all the pie flavors we it's were It's really seeing. like this. You can do the same with blueberries, really. The only thing, like, to make the blueberry color, I would do purple and then, or, or royal blue and add some purple to it. Like but Han, what it. about if you order freeze-dried blueberries, pulverize them, stir it into your royal icing and make real blueberry cookies? That's a, do you have experience with pulverized blue? It's such a waste, sorry, because I just love, you know how much I love. Yeah, but it's so food. intense. I think you could do like. Yeah, is it, but is the color, because is the color also intense with blueberries? Because when oh, yes. Eat, is it? I, I would eat them and my fingers would be all blue. Oh, yeah. I, you know how much I love, yeah. So yeah, it's because I love, you know, she knows how much I love freeze dried fruit. It's so good. So, so good. Yeah. So you can do, you can definitely like play with this. Like Marlin said, I think a good idea would be to make these even like, you know, you can uh, literally make this into three, I don't know, four, three pieces or whatever to make it like, you know, smaller. So you can, uh, you can, you could, what you could do, you could then make several pies. You could make blueberry pie. You could make, uh, you know, this is this goes for cherry or, or cranberry. Um, what other? I mean, you can then play with maybe banana pie if you are feeling like it. And if you're feeling Halloweenish, 
throw some eyeballs in there. Oh maybe. yeah, eyeballs maybe exactly. Yeah, it could make, well, why don't we? Yeah, Halloween pizza would be fun. Now you got yeah, to put some bat sprinkles in there. Some yeah, little yeah, eyeballs. Everybody loves to eat bats, you know. I it think that'd be funny, actually. Yeah, chewy. <laughs> maybe <laughs> some bones. <laughs> So yeah, so this is it. So I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll guess. I'll do this one. For those of you who are joining us a little later. So Kim, if you're just arriving, you can watch the replay. It's recorded and reposted. You just. Uh, when we finish, you have to wait like five minutes for Facebook to and uh, or YouTube to reload it, and you'll be able to watch it from the beginning. Okay. Why not, Avis? <laughs> certainly have a laugh the the kids might uh, get a kick out of it you're making some ghosts the one holding the pumpkin that one's very popular Pretzel sticks for the bones. Yes, yes. Did you know, I just recently heard this, and it might be wrong because we hear so much uh, whatever, that Pinterest is the fourth biggest search engine? Pinterest? Pinterest. Yeah, well, first is Google, then what is YouTube? I don't know, but my point is if you want ideas for your baking, you know, you guys, you'll see uh infinite things there and if you have suggestions we could do like you know what is it well, pin, what's it called pin, um pinterest pin or pin or miss or something and we could you know give some of these holiday things a try yeah well i do believe i mean i i i would assume the number one is google YouTube is shortly after, and then what? Facebook now. Well, I hope Facebook's not a search engine because I don't I'm know. Like... I, I don't know. I don't know. I just listened to some. Yeah, never mind. Let's not get into that. <laughs> so, um, where's my fucking bag? Here it is. Hours and this hours. This is big. It's like, I don't know how many inches, but it's quite big. So I think this would be for buttercream only. Because you really don't need, unless you're making, I don't know. Uh, it's always better to have smaller amount of icing, I find. And what do you, um, is that piping bag very short? I just saw you holding it. The other one looked very long. How long is that one? This one is long. Oh, yes, it's long. It's so long. <laughs> Looks like a sock. <laughs> yes it is how did you know i watched it well did you know that if, you your icing, socks. <laughs> if your icing is full of little sugar granules you could put a knee high in there and strip <laughs> out your icing yeah i think yeah i think this one is quite big i mean it came i got three different sizes so i think i should be using this so who did you order from amazon amazon you haven't taken the dive to uh no but i found my uh credentials so i might uh do it i will do it take the plunge yeah i have an account on, with aliexpress but i've been trying to avoid going on there because there's just so much temptation you want to kind of like purchase the whole domain well i just uh got the notification my order's coming in like, another order for next tuesday if if it comes in i'm going to be showing you guys my latest find and i think those of you that have been on a fence you might you might you might create an account oh have you seen this have you seen the textured parchment the newest thing i've seen i send you the it's it's textured parchment for cookies well okay so let me just clarify the textured parchment so it's not in fashion so so much anymore so they were called folders and it's a paper crafting thing and so the folder is textured you put the parchment paper in it and run it through kind of a pasta maker and those 
those folders emboss the paper. And so now people are embossing the parchment paper and selling that. But if you buy the folder, you can emboss oh, your you can own emboss parchment. Your own. And you can, you, you can use any number of... Um... And on AliExpress, they sell paper oh. folders. Oh. And if you go see, oh. you'll find all the oh. supplies oh. Oh. to emboss your own parchment paper. So the most expensive part of that thing is the machine that kind of squishes the embossing folder to emboss the paper but you can actually use your pasta machine i did it so you can run your emboss your folder through the pasta machine i do agree that the they they yes i do like i have to say i do like it without the without the edges as well that's why i was on the fence using the using the frosting on there or if i like if it was if it was really like me doing it, I would just use icing uh, like flat around the edge to keep it like and it would be, yeah. But I did get embossing mats um, from not AliExpress. It's a ceramic company that sells uh, embossing mats for ceramics. A projector. Yeah, I do like it. Now I'm going to have to redo it. Because I do like, I have to say, I do like it. I'm not a big fan of the, like I said, the bulky, bulky stuff. So I actually bought one of those embossing folders to experiment with it. Of course you did. I did. You're like a, I mean, treasure, your your well, studio I mean, is a treasure. Bar. It's research. I have to do it. Well, somebody has to do it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> So for the projector, um, I actually bought one. I don't, I, it's not a, a, a way of working that works for me. I like to, to add my guidelines to the cookie surface. I find the projector can be tricky, like to look at the reflection for some people, like to work. And then your hand sometimes will obstruct the, the It has to be pretty dark, projector. no, in order to see. It has to be dark. It's very dark, right? Yeah. So it's, uh, yes. So it's, but I think for writing, right? For writing, most people, a lot of people use it just for writing on cookies, where yeah. it's really difficult to get that font, specific font you want, and can be tricky to, you know, do it on 100 cookies. Your colored paper. The colored wafer paper, Karen. I bought that at uh, AC Moore years ago. Um, well, years ago, last year. Um, I'll um I'll look for the name for the, because it came packaged with uh, with a label so maybe something that can be okay, I'm gonna uh, oh look give me a second all right so while hands there I'm gonna show you guys I have them here so Lolita you're asking so here let me show you I'm gonna just turn on my camera so this I haven't really um done a video or anything this is still in the preliminaries so here it is oh so this should be, yes go ahead so this is the embossing uh folder let me just am i not in focus all right so if you it's hard to see but if you look there so it's it's relief and then it's sandwiched i didn't turn it on hold on so you're sandwiching a piece of parchment paper in there, you close it, and then it needs to be squished very hard. And that's why there's a special machine that you grind it through. And then when it comes out, your parchment paper or whatever paper you're using is going to be embossed. Do you see? Okay, so you need to pop this on the royal icing to see if it actually works. And yes, and then just like the crinkle technique that you watched me and hand do last week, instead of having it just be crumpled, here, let me see if I can. Yeah, it's a, there's a design, like a flower design on it. So then you just rest that in the surface of the icing and then let it dry and then it's going to transfer whatever. And these embossing folders come in more designs than i mean it's crazy how many and the price difference from aliexpress of these folders 
this was ten dollars because i wanted it fast i got it from amazon same things on aliexpress two dollars so you can see here and then you just crank out a bunch of this parchment paper and so people are making these parchment paper sheets and selling them but where there's a will there's a way see so that's it Yes, yes, so, um, yes, AC Moore no longer exists, I know. I was there when, when it uh, closed down and I, I bought everything. You bought everything, you liquidated I bought, it. I bought everything in a baking aisle. I'm the person, yeah. So, the name of the brand of the, oh, let me, um, okay, so you can see. It's a chocolate. Oh, yes, that's this that still, exists still. This still exists. This still exists. They make so many different things. So um, I'll, I'll look if they have wafer paper. They still exist, then. They do still exist. Wafer paper, chocolate maker, because I, I bought some of their sprinkles, and they're so good and so nice. Wafer paper, chocolate. Yes, it's still... Um, well, it's eBay, Walmart actually sell out of stock, <laughs> out of stock. So uh, yeah, look, maybe you'll find them somewhere. Choco maker, choco maker, edible wafer paper, candy sheets, they even call it. Um, they have them on Pinterest. Yes, so uh, yes, this is the brand. Amazon, let's see. Amazon, yes, I don't think they are available. So maybe it's something that is uh, sold out, but, and they, I remember they, this is all red, so this would be good for Christmas or Halloween or something like that. But I also have the, um, the multicolored ones, yes. So Choco Maker, and they make really lovely uh, sprinkles as well. I don't know I if you- Michaels know. has some of their products occasionally. And yes, they, they have really nice sprinkles. I particularly like their chocolate, and I think they also had the chocolate um, pearls, the, the crisp pearls. Crisp pearls, yeah. Yes, Cynthia, they have it. So the only thing, make sure that you check the width, okay, because the, the <laughs> embossing folders come in certain widths, and then the crank also comes in certain widths. So if you buy an embossing folder and think that there's a standard, you know, so make sure you get, because some of the embossing folders are actually quite narrow. So just check that out to make sure that they fit together. No, Sylvia, those are not fondant sheets. Those are, um, these are wafer paper. The wafer paper, it's like a, it's like a communion wafer yeah. almost, I, I think. It's very like, I find it like very pleasant to take, pleasant taste. It's not like overly flavored. It's like light, light vanilla. It just like it's like a potato starch or rice starch or something made out of, eh? Yeah, yeah. So I have like oh, I have still my my leaves. I made leaves um, last week with with uh, wafer paper. I used the punch. So you see, it's mm -hmm. not very. It's like it's not very thick and. You can uh, kind of shape it if you wet it a little. It's like okay. yeah, it feels good. And uh, people use wafer paper to make also flowers and other things or cakes. Well, the other option is if you do have white wafer paper, you can airbrush it. Or if you have a printer, you can actually print the whole sheet. Let's say you want it to be pink. Well, pink, printed pink. That's another option if you if you maybe have the equipment. Well, the um, this is a good question, so I'll remove this. So um, it's not so much about bleeding, but the wetness of real icing just affects because it's not. It's going to dissolve, I believe, right? Or and uh, uh well what I'm happens sure is it, it, all, like, it curls it's it but, curls up the edges curl up uh, so i would wait for the icing to be dry and then apply it yeah 
I think that would be the best because then, and I think like the moisture will also affect the color. It, may, it might start also like bleeding. If you have an image on there printed, it might start doing some funky things. Yes. Because it absorbs the, it, it absorbs the moisture very quickly. Well, the, the company that was started to sell them that I recall, the first, it was a Tasty Photo Art. And they actually would recommend that you would put um, a layer of um, piping gel on the mm -hmm. back to create a barrier to your buttercream. Because initially they weren't really designed for cookies. They had them for cakes. But um, when I've used them, like that's it. It, it causes the curling and so you don't get a really flat, flat thing. Yeah, this is also very much true because if you make a flower, like a rose with wafer paper, and you put it oh, yeah. in a in a bag, it, yeah. dry, like, it does dry. The wafer paper, it, like you have to wet, like, wet it very lightly to shape it, but then it dries. So it's very, it's not fragile, fragile, but it will break if you put pressure on it. So it's not really recommended to package it like if you want to package it i would then like do package it in um acetate boxes you know so if you're making something elaborate that involves the wafer paper roses or something like that yeah package it uh you know appropriately to that all right so we are going uh live also on friday guys yeah if you are new to our live segment today so we have another live on friday and it's also dedicated to cookie decorating Although on Tuesday we go with whatever, so but today it just happens that we did cookies. On Friday, is it me and you? No, I'm off. You're off. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> yes, Kim, uh, as long as it's, uh, you know. So Friday we will have lovely, uh, my favorite Canadian here, Mar Marlene of Montreal Confections and Amber of Sweden so are going to be demonstrating something amazing. Sure. I'll have to put okay, my thing so on Kim, So the Kim has a question. So can, I, can or should you use alcohol when hand painting with airbrush color? Do you want, who's that? So you can watch actually, you can watch Marlene's video from last week's fr Friday. She was demonstrating this 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 exact thing, Kim. I would like it's a really good demonstration she did. So if you use water, because some people for whatever reason don't want to use alcohol, let, let's just quickly the why you're using alcohol. The why is because it dries faster than water. So alcohol evaporates quicker, and so the sugar doesn't have time to kind of break down the royal icing and create pitting and holes. So that's the why you're using alcohol. Yes. Okay. So if you don't have, like, you can use Everclear or any kind of grain alcohol. I think that's what you use. Um, it doesn't leave the taste, like, the t unless the alcohol is flavored, unless it's flavored, then it may have some residual flavor, right? Because I used the lemon extract for many years because that's very high uh, content alcohol. And it would leave, like, a lemony, like, flavor, not alcohol, but like lemony flavor, which was fine with me. I love lemon, but some people may not like yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for joining us. As always, you can find our templates on coffee.com. Do you have anything prepared there? Well, I have the stencils I loaded last week. I can reduce them again. I didn't uh, go on before, but I'll go and put them for $3 until tomorrow. If you guys are interested, there's a, it's a five stencil set. If maybe you're making a gingerbread house, there's wood, there's brick. Oh, there's yeah. I just, I used those already. And I have, um, I just released, like I said, jack o lantern decorating templates. You can grab those along with, it's the gingerbread house season, guys, coming up. So take advantage of these templates I have up. I have a small gingerbread house and also classic and a tall one there, along with all the other templates. So... I think that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you next. Next. We'll see you Friday. Bye. Bye.